thousands of girls, this is their dream. And for five of them, this is their chance. I'm gonna be a superstar. I just want this so bad. I've been waiting for this all my life. All my life. All my life. Girls everywhere dream of being pop stars. If I got it, I'd have somebody do this for me, like Britney. They see bands like Destiny's Child and Spice Girls, and they think, if I had a chance, I could do that. I want to be a pop star because it's been my childhood dream since I was a little girl. They're like, yeah, I can do this. Five of these girls will have the opportunity to prove it. I wish you. Oh, God, I messed this up. As we take off on a nationwide search to create the next all girl supergroup. We'll always love you. An oozing personality. Like a rock, you waited so patiently. The group will be chosen from thousands of hopefuls. Superstar! <laughs> Over the next 13 weeks, you'll witness their transformation to pop stardom as they work with music industry superstars like 14-time Grammy Award winner David Foster, who's worked with phenomenal performers like Celine Dion, Madonna, and Whitney Houston. Anybody can be good. You want to make your way in this world, be great. A media blitz advertises the upcoming auditions. The auditions are happening right now. Auditions that take place in New York, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, Atlanta, and Miami, with three well-known industry professionals as judges. Award-winning choreographer Travis Payne, who has worked with Michael and Janet Jackson, Madonna, In Vogue, and Mandy Moore. Record executive James Foster Levy, executive vice president of David Foster's 143 Records, a part of the international music giant, the Warner Music Group. Jennifer Gregg Coston from Direct Management. In addition to managing Counting Crows, Katie Lang, and the B-52s, Direct Management will represent the new band. The pop star's experience starts tonight. Girls are called up in groups of five, each one with only a few seconds to impress the judges. All I need is a rhythm divine. They wait nervously to hear if they'll be asked to return the next day for an additional performance and a personal interview. I'm sorry, we, we gotta move on. We wanna know if you wanna come to LA. Ah! The best from each city will be flown to Los Angeles for an intense workshop week where the standards will be even tougher. That's all you got to do. You take in, 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 in without tensing. Most of them will be sent home before the week is over, leaving the judges with ten incredibly talented finalists. Then, six weeks from tonight, you'll meet the five pop stars and follow them as they move into a house together, record their first CD, film their music video, choreograph their new songs, and create their own style and look. Finally, just 13 weeks from now, you'll be with them as they perform for the first time in concert before a live audience. Tonight is just the beginning. Which five girls will be chosen? It all starts in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, home to corporate entertainment giants and musical talent like Monica and TLC. <laughs> Baby Norman and Inda Lee Reed showed up with their band named Just For You. Michelle, Inda, okay. Marie, and Baby. Hey. Don't care, shouldn't have been up in it. Don't give a damn, cause now I gotta quit it. Tired of you tricking, tired of me slipping. Go out, stay out, don't think about it, I'm out. Together they sound great, but today they'll each have to go it alone. And if only one of them makes it? <gasps> Supporter. Yeah, there's all, nothing but, but love here. Yeah. 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 Like, my name is Jay Wynn. I will be singing Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. Okay, just start whenever you're ready. I hope life treats you kind. And I hope you have all you dreamed of. Okay, um, my name's Baby. It's my real name. It's my real name, yeah. Because <laughs> now you're all thinking that. Is that a real name? It's my real name. And um, I'm going to sing What a Girl Wants by Christina Aguilera. What a girl wants, what a girl needs, 
Whatever makes me happy sets you free And I'm thanking you for knowing exactly What a girl wants, what a girl needs Whatever thing you keeps you safe I know that What a girl wants <laughs> Hi, my name's Inda, and I'll be performing, um, How Do I Live? Hi. You're my world, my heart, my soul. If you ever leave, maybe you would take away everything good in my life. My name is Adrian Harvey, and I'm going to sing I Try. Here is my confession. May I be your possession? Boy, I need your touch, your love kisses and such. Hi, my name is Nicole Harrison and I'm singing I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. And I wish you joy and happiness. But above all this, I'm wishing you love. The judges only have a few moments to make a decision. What are they looking for? Charisma and a work ethic. They have just a natural quality that shines through and really draws your attention to them. You want to love her. Name. She's definitely got the look. She's got the attitude. I know. But she, she came through in the chorus. I think her voice was decent and I think that she has a really cool look. I mean, I like the shape of her face and stuff. Girls, we'd like to have um, Number two, come back tomorrow. But it's really important that you, like, no pull through tomorrow and yeah. really... Because okay. you really came alive on the course because you felt more comfortable with the lyrics. Well, um, I made it for tomorrow. I made it for tomorrow. I didn't make it back, but all my love is for her. <laughs> She'll be it's strangling cool. me later. She'll, like, yeah. beat me down. Yeah, I'm going to go get a record deal now. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, but um, I love her very yeah. much. Very much. And we said that we would support each other yeah. no matter what. So <laughs> that's why we love each other. Shonda Johnson has been singing her whole life. I blew them away, you know, I did what I do, sang a couple chords and hit a few high notes. I think the high notes is what's got me. Shonda Johnston may make it look easy, but Wanapia Barfield, a dancer from Riverdale, Georgia, knows it isn't. Okay. Uh, oh, God, I cannot do this. Yes, you can. Just relax. Yeah. Just relax. Take it on now. It's all right. You look cute. Thank you. <laughs> I hope. Oh God, this is awful. Do you want? Do you want to not go ahead? Uh -huh. Do you want to not try anymore? Can I go last or something? You have waited long enough. You don't want to do it now. <laughs> okay. Try okay. It one more time. Okay. Try it one more time. Have all you dreamed of? Um, and I wish you... Oh, God, I messed this up. Thank you. <laughs> you guys did a great job. Uh, we appreciate you coming. It's a long, tedious process. You know, a lot of anxiety builds up inside of you. But, you know, we want to thank all of you for being brave enough to come up here and do it, especially you, okay? And um, we know it's difficult, we know it's hard, but, you know, these kind of experiences let you know what to be prepared for for the next time. So we'd just like to, you know, give you a round of applause. I can deal with everyone looking at me. This, that was just real nervous.
surfing back to Washington DC today. <laughs> I decided to come here. Got here at 6.30 this morning. Jangela Shumskas is a 23-year-old regional recruiter for a national corporation, but her dream is to become a pop star. I was supposed to turn the keys to my apartment four hours ago. My best friend and my boyfriend flew here to help me drive the 10-hour drive in my U-Haul. Hi there, number four. What's your name and what are you going to sing? Um, it's Jangela and I'm singing How Do I Live. Okay. You're my world, my heart, my soul, wherever you ever leave. I would love to get called Baby. back, however, if I did, I don't know how I'm going to come back. Fine. I don't feel strongly about it. She just didn't go pow, you know. Right. No, I, I really do like her energy and her personality. If Jangela gets a call back, she'll have to decide whether to put her life and her move on hold. Call back for Jangela would mean putting her life on hold. She's supposed to move to Washington, D.C. today with her boyfriend. She's got a lot of talent. Shouldn't be hidden. Should be out. Okay, how about if we... Now she anxiously awaits the judge's decision. It's really interesting. A lot... It's a very strong singer. Let's see what, let's see what she can do. We'd like um, number two and number four and number five to come back to me. And okay. thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. All I told her. Thank you for being so patient. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now Jangela will have to decide if it's worth putting her life on hold for one more day. And I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> See you tomorrow morning at 10 with my U-Haul truck. Baby Norman, Shonda Johnston, and 40 other Atlanta girls move one step closer to being part of the next all-girl super group. Miami, the city that moves to the beat of Ricky Martin and Enrique Iglesias, and our next stop on a coast-to-coast -coast search for five new pop stars. I heard about this, figured why not give it a try, what the hell, two of us, do you have two choices? 24 year old twins Jamil and Isadel Mercedes are just two of the 11 Mercedes children. With 10 sisters, they already know what it means to live with a group of girls. Now, it's all about whether they have the talent to make it into this one. Jamil Mercedes, Isadel Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Twins? Oh, you're one minute apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the He's elder. elder. Okay. I hold all the authority. Okay. No. Then you should be going first. I don't think so. This one. No, you can't switch now. It's too late. This is the one thing I have over here. Do you want to start number one? Mm -hmm. All I need is a rhythm divine. Lost in the music, your heart will be mine. All I need is a look in your eyes. Viva la musica. To the island of Cafe. And sis? I play it all, but I'm dreaming of you. And I keep my cool, but I'm fading. I try to say goodbye and I choke. I try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My world when you are not there. As the girls wait, the judges decide if there's room for two Mercedes in the band. Um, she seems very, from her no nose, she's very nasal. She's beautiful and she was oh. Travis likes her. Calm down, Travis. He likes the mood. Uh, thank you all for coming. We would like to have... Uh, one of the twins, and that would be number two. Come back. She got it. She's my star. Hello. So tell us your name again. Alexandra Brachelier. And I'm going to sing Leanne Rice. Okay. Alexandra, an 18-year-old waitress from Miami, is nervous, but finds the confidence okay. to perform. How do I get through a night without you? I want to be a pop star because it's always been my dream. 
Ever since I was a little girl, I grew up in a music environment, and all I've learned is music. And I think that being able to sing gives a gift to everyone else, and it heals your soul. Ladies, 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 ladies. Girls, 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 girls. Yeah, everyone, plug your ears. We don't want you to know. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, really. We appreciate you coming so very much. Um, we are only going to take one of you. And uh, that Guess would who? probably be number one. <laughs> Some, winning a spot in the band means more than just a chance to start him. At 21, Kelly Blakemore works in data entry to help her brother pursue his dream of completing his college education. But today, it's all about pursuing her dream. How do I get through one night without you? If I had to... My brother is like, <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Kinda He's like so much to me. I just... <laughs> I need you in my arms, need you to hold You're my world, my heart, my soul If you ever leave I like number one I like number one Yeah, she's good enough that I think we'd like, we should check her out tomorrow Okay We want to thank everybody else, but also we would like to ask number one to come back tomorrow <laughs> I am so extreme. It's just like everything inside me. <laughs> Can't even talk. It was. I had to close my eyes when I was up there just because it was like if you open them, you might forget it. <laughs> but it was, I had so much fun today. It was a wonderful day. And I can't wait to come back tomorrow. I want to thank you for giving me this time to breathe. Like a rock, you waited so patiently. While I Rosanna Tavares is a dance major at Ohio State. While I figured it out, I only looked, but I didn't touch. She wins the judges over with her singing, and she gets the callback. 23 year old Tiffany Renee is confident about her chances. Well, because I'm already a diva. <laughs> I have the pipes and I have uh, a lot of personality. Hi, I'm Tiffany Renee and I'm going to be singing the ever popular I Will Always Love You, okay? <laughs> Bitter sweet memories That is all I'm taking with me Tiffany's voice and self-confidence captures the judge's attention. But James has concerns. She sings okay, but she sounds very old, her voice. Which is really sort of goes against the grant of what the pop sensibility is. Do you want to do you want mm -hmm. to do you want to Between say that to her work. and like ask her to sound? No. It's you either got it or you don't. This is just to see if we can bring them back, back tomorrow. tomorrow. Miss Tiffany Renee, you want to come back tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany gets her call back. But tomorrow, she'll have to prove she's got everything it takes to be a pop star. For others, this is as far as they'll get. I want to thank you for giving me time to breathe. Like a rock, you waited so patiently while I got it together, while I figured out. Woo. From the moment I first saw you, knew my heart could not be free. I will catch you in my arms now. I will never be the another for me. All I need is the rhythm divine Lost in the music, your heart will be mine A weaker man might have walked away But you had faith Strong enough to move over and give me space And I will always love you A 
vocal major at the University of Miami, Carrie Roberts began performing in church at the age of five. Her angelic voice earns her a callback. The end of pop star's first day in Miami, Isadel Mercedes, Kelly Blakemore, and Miss Tiffany Renee joined Carrie Roberts and 26 others who were asked to return for more intensive auditions as the nationwide search for the next all girl supergroup continues when pop stars arrives in New York. I figure that I'm like, you know, ugly spice kind of thing. New York City has a rhythm all its own. The best of the best make their way to New York, and we found hundreds of girls lined up waiting to earn a spot in our group, including this one. What a girl wants, what a girl needs, whatever makes me happy sets you free. I'm thanking you for keeping me in your arms. To be a pop star, I think it takes uh, talent and to be a good person and just to remember that your job is to entertain. 23-year-old Yvette Sosa moved to Manhattan to pursue her dream of being a performer. Oh she most recently appeared in West Side Story at the yeah, famed La Scala Theater in Italy. But today, it's all about being a pop star. How do I get through this night without you? If I were to live without you, what kind of life would I be? Oh, and I, I need you in my arms, need you to hold. If you ever need, baby, you could take away everything good in my life. we want to um, make certain that all of you and everybody in the audience is very clear that you know you must come here extremely prepared and that means you know remembering the lyrics and remembering the song that you've chosen or songs that you've chosen given all that um, we have decided to bring um, one of you back number five and that speech really is for you to go home tonight and think about before you come back tomorrow okay I got really nervous and I stopped and I kept going I mean I did keep going but they made sure to tell me that I had all my lines memorized for tomorrow so Jean Perlman's mom worked hard to send her to college where she's a pre-med student. Her mom may not want to see her drop out to join the group. I go to school, I go to Columbia, right up town. And um, I guess I'd have to drop that for a while. No. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> now you know what she We worked too hard to get there. Pete, she's really big. I don't like to... In other words, I won't get over. it, so don't worry. <laughs> don't think like that. Don't think positive. Always positive. Thank you. We're going to bring one of you back. We'd like to have number one come back. Everyone else, thank you so very much. Thank you. Jean is one step closer to having to make a decision between medicine and music. 23-year-old Naima Taylor shows off her talent in a pre-audition hallway performance. Why should my heart be lonely, lonely? And long for heaven and But in front of the judges, the pressure's enormous. So goodbye, please don't cry. We both know I'm not what you you need. Thank you. And I'm not feeling any better. I'm definitely not feeling anybody. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not either. 
Unfortunately, we're not going to ask any of you to come back. I'm so mad at myself, okay? Because I can sing, all right? I can blow. No, I'm not trying to be funny, but I really can. And I got in there and started getting nervous. And that's like such my downfall because I'm not going to be famous if I can not get my nerves together. 24-year-old Camille Guadi waits tables to pay the rent. This is another opportunity. I'm an actress, so it's just, you know, one other opportunity to open my way to what I want to do. So, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, I give it a shot, so. Try to walk away and I stumble, though I try to hide it. It's clear my world crumbles when you are not here. Number five is cute. She is cute. She's cute. Do you think she... She didn't sing it bad. Yeah. Should we see what she could do tomorrow? I'd like to see her. We would like to have one of you come back from this group tomorrow, and that would be girl number five. Camille will return tomorrow for callbacks with 43 other New Yorkers, including Yvette Sosa and Jean Crow. She has 850 more girls to go. Our search for the band continues in Dallas. This city has a heart of country, but has inspired singers like Erica Badu. Hundreds of Dallas girls came out for their chance at instant superstar. Yay, pop stars! We're here in Dallas! Yay! You know, I'm really nervous right now. Because I'm going to be a superstar. I may appear to be free, but I'm just a prisoner of your love. I'll keep my cool, but I'm fiended, and I try to say goodbye, and I choke. I want to know, how do I breathe without you, if you ever go? Oh, I need you in my arms, need you to hold. We're uh, getting off to a bit of a slow start. Um, there's not, they're not as strong here in Dallas as I'd hoped. 19-year-old Morgan Matlock has already spent time in the spotlight, has missed out. He sets you free, and I'm thanking you for giving it to me. Is that right? Yes, yeah. close enough. You guys all have great voices. One of the things, one of the little notes that we want to make is uh, sort of got like that twang, that country twang in your voice. Less country, more pop. Just be conscious of that. Okay. So we'd like very much if number two would come tomorrow, as well as number three, Miss Dallas. Thank and you thank so you very to much. Number one. Thank you very much for coming. What do you think? I, I wanted to do Eminem, can I? <laughs> 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 Bea Talpacito 19 is wearing her good luck tube top, uh, which she bought Bea, for three dollars. I'm doing Christina Aguilera, what a girl wants. Um, I want to thank you for giving me time to breathe like a rock. You waited so patiently while I got it together. Oh, while I figured it out. Yeah, yeah. Three dollars well spent. Bea gets a call back. 21-year-old Nikki McKibben is the single mother of a two-year-old boy named Tristan. For her, joining the band is as much about his future as it is about hers. Just going through those terrible teens. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Running around breaking things. It's great. <laughs> My name's Nikki McKibben. I will be singing I Will Always Love You. I hope life treats you kind. And I hope you have all you dreamed of. And I wish you joy and happiness. But above all this, I wish you love. Nikki has a lot at stake. If she gets a call back, she may have to consider leaving her son with her family in Dallas to pursue her dream. And I hope you have all you dreamed of. Nikki McKibben, the single mother of a two-year-old son, has dreams of becoming a pop star. We're going to ask number one to come back. Okay? 
McKibben needs to think about is her callback tomorrow, where she'll join Bea Talpacito, Morgan Matlock, and the 23 other Dallas girls who've been asked to continue the journey toward becoming a pop star. Next stop, Chicago. We blew into the Windy City with high hopes of uncovering talent. An oozing personality. <laughs> We're ready to be pop <laughs> Some auditioners seem to already be on the road to pop stardom, like... Nicole Scherzinger. I was meant to perform in front of people. I love to sing, act, and dance. And it's just my life. It's been my whole life since I've been young. I've always wanted to be Whitney Houston. So. And I will always love you. Thank you. Hello, Worley. At 18, student Laura Worley dreams of being the next Britney. I had to live without you. What kind of life would that be? We will be keeping one of you. Sorry, we can't keep all of you. The lucky lady is number four. <laughs> Thank you all very much. I actually thought I did pretty good, but I was asking Nicole, she's awesome, so. I just closed my eyes and sang, and I was like, dear God, I hope something good comes out. So I'm good. I went pretty good. And maybe if she wasn't in there, I would have had a good chance, because, I don't know, the judges were eyeing me pretty good, so I guess this is just a bad weekend for me. But Laura's not alone. Now there was a time I was blind, I was so confused. I ran away just to hide it all from you. But you knew me better uh -huh. than I knew myself. If you love something, they say if you love something, let it show, let it go. And if it comes back to you, that's all you know. It's for keeps, yeah, it's for sure. And I'm ready, I'm willing to give it more. Life treats you kind And I hope you have all you dreamed of You're never gonna get it. From the coast of Ifania to the island of Capri I will follow you, I don't know the words never, never gonna get it. What a girl wants, what a girl needs Thank whatever. you whoa, 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 whoa. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it never most of the time, the judges make instant, unanimous decisions, but not in the case of Karen Perez. How do I get through a night without you if I had to live without you? What kind of life would that be? Oh, and I. What about time for? She can say, that's all she can say. Great. If she was with Houston or Leah But she had the best voice in the whole group. I think you're talking about number five. Hmm? I'm talking about number four. I know. Think, Paul. Stop. What will the judges decide? Will Karen get a call back? Karen Perez impresses the judges with her voice. Will it earn her a callback? If I had to live without you, what kind of life would that be? Oh, and I... Honestly, I think number four had the best voice. And I think she deserves to come back tomorrow. And then to see what she can do. Only chance can change my fortune. So I'm not sure why I try. Um, we want to bring two of you back, number two. 
and also number four. I've been nervous since last night. Hey, sorry. I just didn't think I was gonna make it. Karen will get a chance to prove herself tomorrow along with Nicole Scherzinger and 37 other girls who impressed the judges in Chicago. What? The last stop on the tour, Los Angeles, California, a city that lives and breathes star quality. Not surprisingly, the turnout in Los Angeles was big. Hello, my name is Margot Yap. And tell me now, how do I live with that? Margot Yap, a junior at Cal State Fullerton, sings in a Christian pop group and sings well enough here to get a call back. If I could do one thing in life, it would be this. What a girl wants, what a girl needs, whatever makes me happy. For Garland Gerber, a student at Santa Monica City College, this audition was a great opportunity to show off her voice and her sense of style. Number one, hold on a sec. You have Can to show everybody see? Yeah, the we boots. What's the story with the boots, girl? It's got you to be You have to lift it up. Lift the pants up. So Are they boots? Whoa! But it's Garland's talent, not her boots, that have taken her one step closer to making the group. All I need is a rhythm divine. Lost in the music, your heart will be mine. All I need is to look in your eyes. Viva la music, I say you'll be mine. I try to say goodbye and I joke. Hey, try to walk away when I stumble. Try to na 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 na. It's clear. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Everything. And I'm thanking you. She really can't say. Oh, I know. It's unbelievable. You'll let her know. Have you seen it before? Huh? And, and tell, and tell me now. How do I go through one night without you? All I need is the rhythm divine. Lost in the music, your heart will be mine. Girls, this was a very lively group. Mm. <laughs> we like that. Very thank entertaining. Thank you all for coming. Unfortunately, we're not going to bring any of you back, but we do thank you for coming, okay? At 22, Ana Maria Lombo has lived her whole life on the road singing with her family band. This audition is her first attempt at moving out on her own. Whatever makes you happy and sets you free. So I had my first job when I was like three, I think. And since then, that's all I've done my whole life. I've always just traveled and sung. And my dad would just play the guitar and us three would be in the little front where we'd dance and sing. And our mom would do like backgrounds and like play little percussion stuff. How do I ever, ever survive? How do I, oh how do I? Her how look and I her talent live? earn her a callback. Having missed the auditions in Miami, Erica Ochapinti and her mom flew 2,400 miles to attend the Los Angeles tryouts. I think she can make it. So we were willing to fly that far and go to the expense and get her out here. She has to be where it's happening. This one was earmarked for her. I've always said, Erica, you need to be in a girl group. They say if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. And that's how you know. It's for keeps, yeah, it's for sure. And you're ready and willing to give me more than what a girl wants. Thank you all for coming today. Uh, unfortunately, in this group, we won't be inviting anybody back for tomorrow, but we thank you for your time and for coming in. Did they just cut you? Yeah. <laughs> After her 13 seconds in the spotlight, it's all over. I am dumbfounded. Did you hear her sing? She was great. I mean, I've listened to these girls all day, and I thought, I mean, I was so sure that she nailed it, and they just cut her. I'm just, I'm shocked. Disappointed, Erica and her mom head back to the airport and Miami. I can't see my phone number. 
Chesa Figaro, the daughter of one of Ike and Tina Turner's Ikeettes, would love to follow in her mother's footsteps. Uh, no. I want to dance. I'm ready to dance. I'm ready to boogie. I'm Chesa, and in Spanish, mi nombre es Chesa. And I'm wishing you joy and happiness. But above all this, I wish you love. Come on, y'all, give me a clap. Come on, come on. Give me a clap, give me a clap. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. While there's no doubt about her talent, the judges worry that Chase's bigger-than-life personality will overpower a group. It's a tough call. Thank you so much. We would like to bring two of you back. We're going to bring number three back and number five. That was so much fun. Can we do it again? In Los Angeles, Chesa joins Garland Gerber, Ana Maria Lombo, and the 236 other girls from Atlanta, Miami, New York, Dallas, and Chicago who have all been given the chance to prove to the judges, themselves, and the world that they have what it takes to become pop stars. Next week on Pop Stars, the nationwide search to create the next all-girls supergroup continues. The open calls have ended, and now the best from each city have been asked to return for an intensive interview. I'm really nervous. I'm like so shaking right now. And an additional performance. Okay, we have to ask you. Occupation? Sing. Phone acting. Phone, phone acting. acting. Yeah. Well, this right here say phone, phone sex, sex operator. operator. Yeah, same thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> With industry giants like the WB, the Warner Music Group, and award-winning talent like David Foster and Travis Payne involved, the next round will be even tougher as the pressure goes up and the number of girls goes down. At the end of all these callbacks, only 93 girls will remain as they move ever closer to becoming pop stars.